this, this idea of politics being linear is, is a really, really, really big trap. Um, and it keeps our brains into the right or to the left instead of using both sides of our brains, right? <laughs> we have a right and we have a left side of our brain uh, that are meant to cooperate. They're meant to be used together. And that happens in the limbic system when we became mammals. And so what we're doing is too often, I believe we're making, we're making an assumption that um, the, um, uh, that's getting us into a lot of trouble today, which is left to right as a linear, as a linear equation, okay? As a linear um, paradigm, okay? So we have right and we have left. For me, it's right and left, but for you, it's right and left, okay? So, what does that mean? It means that when we talk about, you know, what liberalism or, or leftism is today, it's very different than what it was when we think about a Kennedy, okay? And uh, that's all fine and good, and the slide, the scale slides and whatever, but we come into a really big problem when we look at it. And that is, Hitler was a national socialist. So what it, so, what are we talking about here, right? And, and, and I, sometimes we go so fast and we, we make all of these micro, you know, due to these micro biases, that we just, oh yeah, whatever, and we go along with it. But if we, you know, we slow down these, these horses, then um, we kind of understand that, that we need to resolve that, you know, sort of that, paradox in this equation okay we need to do that because only then can we make sense of it right because how can we have one person on both extreme ends of this linear paradigm it, this, it can't it can't exist okay I mean it does exist right now but it makes no sense especially when you listen to the rhetoric you know, of, of, the, of, the, of the lefties and of the mainstream media and, and um, you know, even if you talk about the conservative, you know, healthy national, you know, borders and, and whatever, you know, um, low tax, low, you know, little, you know, small government and all that good stuff, um, then um, it, it, it can't, it can't, we need to, we need to resolve that. And, and so a couple of years ago, I was, you know, thinking about this really hard and it seemed to me all of a sudden this idea that actually what we need to do is introduce um, personality okay so a, a trait of, of our personality of our of our behavior okay so now what we can do is we add extreme extremist or fanaticism into the equation okay and so then we can put that on each end of the equation because the extreme left and the extreme right, they're fanatics, okay? And then it came to me, well, why not make a circle of this? Okay, so now we have a circle where we have, in a sense, the, 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 um, the, the Kennedy liberals on the, on, the, on the left, and we have sort of, in a sense, the Reagan conservatives small government limited government you know, on sort of on sort of the right and left sides of this circle and then we have kind of what I would can you know the liberal the liberal the, um, um, the libertarians in the center there you have conservatives I'm sorry you have the liberals the conservatives libertarians and then you have the fanatics at the bottom right you have the healthy sort of you know what I would call you know, in a sense, the, the real sort of um, um, leftist, you know, the, 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 the good, the, the, the wanting to do good through cooperating together, creating um, national welfare, you know, and there's arguments for everything, you know, on this, you know, without getting into the whole thing, there's, there's arguments for both. So they wanna have this collective, you know, nationally, 
uh, organized. Good. And the conservatives say, wait a second, no, 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 no. We want small government, government's out of our hair. We don't want to have anything to do with the government, out of the school systems, out of the healthcare, out of education, out of everything. We don't want them in any, anything, okay? Um, so um, then we're, we're bound, okay? So now we can more easily understand this whole thing where now it makes sense, sort of the fanatic left as they, the, as they actually meet a hair line between them, but both fanatics, okay, and around. For somebody, I believe, like you, this still isn't good enough because there's a spiritual side that needs to be um, confronted with all of this, okay? And now we go from, from one-dimensional to two-dimensional, and I believe into the third dimension of this whole thing, which is we can start going a, a front to back circle, okay? Where we have sort of what would be considered an atheist and sort of the religion, the orthodox religions. And then between those, the fanatics, right? And the more conser the more uh, open-minded, sort of, um, in a sense, liberal um, thinking, um, what's it called? Uh, religious persons and the same thing from the atheistic side the Scientology you know this where you know science is is the new God in a sense you know the opposing um, uh, positions of them and and so now we have we start to have a sphere right where if we travel across this now we start to get gray zones all over the place so we can start to really make sense of how um, this we can create a way in order to create perspective a healthy perspective not just right left um, center because there's, there's no way of it making any sense of that because as we saw Hitler was both ends of the spectrum which can't exist it can't exist but if we go to that fanaticism then all of a sudden he is the perfect midline in the lower quadrant of fanaticism where he actually embraced somehow amazingly the both um, perspectives of right and left so now we get that three three dimensional but so now okay now it's like okay so but we're but like we're still in a sense what until like three weeks ago it's still superficial isn't it it's still on the soup on the surface and then I realized wow is there a center? Is there actually a center to this sphere? This weightless, um, you know, uh, absolutely um, uh, gra free of gravitation, free of pull in any direction, just existing, observing from the inside out all of these different behaviors that are going on around us. And I believe that's like the true, what I would call, rather than religion or, or science, maybe we're talking about true spirituality. And, um, you know, even, even from sort of, a, so we'll, we'll turn it, and so we, now we have the science and the religion over here. So now even these can, can work their way in, and even within this sphere, we can we can move a little bit. So now all of a sudden, we have we have we have one, two, three, and now we have the fourth dimension. Okay, which is um, where I believe the body and the soul meet, in a sense. So there's um and a, and a, not not time as the fourth, but as space um, would be considered without considering time. Like I guess we could call it the fifth dimension where we meet with this stuff, but it's four dimensions. Okay, so we're going in on ourselves. We're we're going inside ourselves, connecting with our true soul, which, in a sense, is here to experience all of this stuff, and without taking away sort of the amazing uniqueness, amazing beauty 
of each one of our physical bodies that have had all of their experiences that are going through that have their different abilities and uh, so on um, which is you know we we are each our own spirits avatars our bodies are our avatars we are not our bodies we are something else our bodies are our avatars and our avatars are our experience our ways of inter it's our interface right with the world and so um, I believe from through my work through just experiencing life so many people are living on on this one dimensional plane and that has a lot to do with um, how they understand themselves and how they um, are, 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 are sort of um, communicating how they're interacting how they're working through their own personal stuff and you can only you know you can only know what you know and um, I believe you know if if we're just sort of thrown into society and and you know um, left to you know sort of the understanding of what society is today then that's what we're gonna get we're gonna get a product of that um, our souls can can do their best to influence this but if if our nervous systems and our belief systems all of these micro biases you know on a survival level and reproductive level and you know sex, sexuality political interpersonal interrelational my you know being parents if it's all this you know hard you know uh, polarity I am who I am and you are who you are and all that and there's no refined way of accepting that I am who I am and you are who you are but we don't have any way in order to make sense of these interactions other than sort of just simply philosophical ideas and we don't actually have a way of going into this avatar and and reprogramming it to um, you know from the all of these micro biases this these more complicated concepts will be impossible truly to not only really understand because as they say life is an is is an illusion okay and that illusion is is basically our bodies okay um, and and our senses everything has to pass through our senses everything and so if it doesn't if it doesn't so I mean so Everything doesn't have to directly, we can, you know, go, th we can connect, but still at some point on a conscious level, we're working with our nervous system. And so, and so we have something also called mirror neurons, okay, um, physical, real neurons that exist throughout our body that are like little antennas picking up the vibrations that are going on around us. So that's our so-called sixth sense, right? And, and, um, and we have others, but but even on a, on a physical level we have something called we truly have a sixth sense and everything anyways even if we're doing telepathy and all these wonderful things astral projection on we're still having at some point to interface with our nervous system okay some people are gifted with it some people aren't well um, how about if we were there was a way to train our way our, our way to these understand to these abilities and they truly are simply abilities and and um, it's just a matter of of a little bit of, of 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 rewiring of some of our our neuro programming in order to improve um, uh, our ability to perceive this world in a in a more refined and a more sort of complicated three dimensional four dimensional five there's who knows how many dimensions but in any case this this idea of politics being linear is is a really 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 big trap um, and it keeps our brains into the right or to the left instead of using both sides of our brains right <laughs> we have a right and we have a left side of our brain uh, that are meant to cooperate they're meant to be used together and that happens in the limbic system when we became mammals it became really 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 important um, to sort of what well, we were able to, to to take to get more out of that whole thing even fish and, and, and reptiles have that as well but
but in any case so um okay that's so that's my little sort of stuff on politics four dimensions linear two dimension circle three dimensions getting in not just behavior but also science and religion and then the fourth going into the center of this where I believe is where we should truly try, strive because in a sense all of this other all of this other stuff is interesting we need to we need to all be able to have all of these different perspectives if you don't have these perspectives for one you don't you're not growing you're not understanding you're not developing okay um, because in a sense if, if they exist on the planet there's a reason for it okay and so um, let's embrace it and bring it into our sphere rather than try and reject it when we're rejecting it we're fractionalizing ourselves we're destroying parts of ourselves and we create all kinds of really bad psychological states but um, so I'll, I'll just shut it off there um, we'll get into the uh, <laughs> we'll get into the uh, religious and um, psychological as well as um, postural behavioral it's 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 just beautiful by the way I've uh, sent in a, a um, application to partake in this great um, you know gathering that you have in the summer in England and so if uh, if you would like uh, uh, I would really enjoy to come and, and share some of these ideas with with uh, with you all and I think uh, the treatments the, the unity therapy as I call it because it truly unifies everything and uh, through our nervous system and um, and uh, the training the neuro training that we can you know that that the therapy is based off of anyhow Peace, love, talk to you guys later, bye.